Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip uh, is about writing and solving real-life equations with variables on both sides. So it's a combination of a whole bunch of different, of several different types of problems. I expect that this is just a review, so we'll just kind of go through each type quickly. So let's say I can join a video club for $15 and rent videos for $2 each, or I can just pay $3 for each video rental, which one is a better deal? So, you might say, well, it depends, yeah. If I graph those two situations, I might come up with a graph like this, showing the number of videos versus the money, the cost, and in one case, I start out with a price of $15 and go up by $2 for every video I rent. In the other case, I start out with no cost if I rent no videos and $3 for each video that I rent or DVD. Um, eventually, the second option this option gets more expensive, but it starts out cheaper. So the uh, more expensive option starts out, well, it starts out more expensive, but if I rent a whole bunch, it will eventually be cheaper because it's not doesn't have as steep a slope. So I could write equations kind of like that. Y equals $15 plus $2 for each DVD or $3 for each DVD. I could say, well, those two will be equal at some point. So I'll say this. I'll say 15 plus 2x equals 3x. Where those two lines cross, and I'll solve. I usually subtract the smaller one with the smaller x coefficient. So 15 equals x. So the number of videos rented when those two um, plans will be the same is 15. So let's go back to our graph. Is that is that what we see on the graph? Yeah, those two cross at, at 15. But graphical is not the only way to do that. Here's another example. A rental car agency charges $25 per day plus 15 cents per mile to rent a car. Another rental agency charges $35 per day plus 10 cents per mile to rent a car. How many miles per day will have to be driven for the cost of the first agency to be the same as the cost of the second agency? Okay, so we'll put in that on two pages. Let's say one cost will be 25 plus 0.1 5 cents per mile. Eventually that will be equal to the other one because it starts out more expensive at $35 but it is only 10 cents per mile. So although it starts out higher its slope is less so those two will cross. So let's subtract the lower cost per mile. 10 cents per mile, sorry. That gives me 0 0.05 cents per mile. And I have the $25. And then I have the $35. Well, I want to get the 5 cents per mile all by itself. So the difference between those two plans is $10. And at 5 cents per mile, how many miles will that be? Well, I just need to find out how many 5 cents are, how many nickels are in $10. So there are 20 in each dollar, and there's $10, so I'll have to drive 200 miles for those um, two rental car agencies to cost me the same.
if I drive more than that, then it's better to pay, pay a higher fee up front. If I drive less than that, I can choose the other plan and still pay less. So the taxi company A charges $8 to get in the cab and $0.75 cents each mile. Taxi company B charges $3 to get in the cab and $1.25 each mile. For how many miles would the cost be the same for either company? So we have $8 plus $0.75 cents per mile being equal. Oops equal to three dollars plus a dollar twenty five per mile all right let's get to subtract the 75 cents per mile since that's smaller than a dollar twenty five per mile Well, the difference between those two is 50 cents per mile. So then I have $3 and I have the $8. Let's get the 50 cents per mile all by itself. So 50 cents per mile equals $5. How many miles would that be? How many 50 cents are in $5? 10. Well, if you can't see that, then just go ahead and divide by 0.5. You can probably see that without using a calculator. That That is 10 times larger on top than it is on the bottom. The numerator is 10 times the denominator. So that could work if we have some variable. We don't know what it is. We don't know what equation that we don't know what story that equation represents so just some random situation but we still do the same steps subtract 3x from each side leaving 3x bring down the 2 and the equals 7 subtract 2 from each side so 3 whoops 3x equals 5 can't do it not an even number doesn't have to be. Remember, this doesn't represent a story where even numbers are, are even necessary. Of course, the number of miles in the taxi situation isn't necessary either to be a whole number. Okay, so x equals 5 thirds. Computer will be asking for you to put that into your calculator. That will tell you uh, 1.67. Go three decimals, go three significant figures there. So what was this about? We wrote, solved, and solved real life equations with variables on both sides.